Hello world, this is PSZS here, here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you my um, 3x3 mod that uh, I think I've told you about um, early in the past, but um, yeah. Uh, I am actually quite pleased with the results. Uh, it did not look, qu um, it didn't turn out quite the way I was hoping it as uh, far as appearance goes. Um, which really the appearance of the outside of the cube is just fine, but I'm talking about the way the pieces look, but that's okay because um, this is actually still a really great mod. Well, even though you still have, you know, it's not a perfect mod, it doesn't take care of all the issues. It was only supposed to take care of the lockups you get that are the edges fault. Um... And basically, it's just this really annoying lockup that you get on a lot of store-bought cubes, basically. Um, if you turn this layer just ever so slightly upwards, and then you try and turn this layer, you might not be able to turn it that easily, because part of the tail of that edge piece is catching on the um, this edge piece's tail. But basically what I've done is I've made the, the tail edges sloped. So that way basically it's just sort of sliding across each other. And this still could be better. Better I am... I just realized that I have not yet lubricated this after I have done the mod. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did using this piece here. Because this piece is my favorite because it turned out the best... And I wish all of the pieces turned out this way. Maybe that would make this puzzle probably the best 3x3 I've ever used. I don't know. But here it is. And clearly it's my favorite if it has a P on it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and macro this up a little bit so that way you can see it better. So basically what I did was, um, as you can see, it's a little bit... Let's get some paper... It's a little more... There's a heart right there, huh? That's cute. Okay, enough distractions. I need to stop that. Okay, there's... It's a little slope, more sloped there. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but right there you can probably see it on this part there. It's a lot more sloped. More so like a ramp. And it's also that way on here. Now getting this part here where the hollow, hollow part is was a lot harder because it's hollow but it was doable but basically what I did uh, well I'll show you that later and also I did do that as well so let me go ahead and just show you sort of the process I did for each of the pieces alright so if this really doesn't help you that much you can um like if you still might need a tutorial on this mod after even after I show you this, you can go ahead and request it down there. I'll be more than happy to. But basically, what I did was using my Dremel uh, and the smallest sanding bit um, at the low speed, which is 10,000 RPM, in case yours happens to be adjustable. Um, I basically sand it here. Uh, I'll show you. I basically sand it here. Right there like that and then I turned it and I did right here just like so and then I repeated on this part and then on some of the edge pieces it left behind this weird thing that stuck out either right here or right here and sometimes I just thought that'd get annoying so what I then did was I took the, the sanding pit and I filed that down a little more just to kind of get rid of it and I have not it hasn't caused any pops some of them I just left that there some of them I sanded it off um I I really don't think it matters cuz no not like not no side is hardly any different than the other so I don't think it matters that much um and then what I did after that was I took this bit here, 
which basically, as you can see, it this my tool came with it, by the way. It's basically just a brush, but um, uh, these are apparently metal, but whatever. And what I'd use this for is uh, I used it to get the excess plastic off, um, which is it worked quite well for that. It, it this does not cut anything, by the way. This is just a really soft brush. I do think this is made out of metal, though. The bristles are, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I'm just letting you know that that's something I did. And then to get the P on there, how I engraved, my, I guess my YouTube name's first initial was using this bit here, which you can't really see. I haven't macroed it, but it's basically an engraving bit. Um. And I just used that to engrave the P. And I was able to write the P with it as if I were using a pen. I did have to go a little slower, of course. So that way, <clears throat> it could look nicer. But basically, all I did was I just drew a P. And they even designed this particular model so you can hold it like a pen. Like that. I mean, that's just really nice. So that's how I got the P on there, and for some reason the battery's coming out. That's just annoying. I don't like the way the battery goes in and out, but whatever. <clears throat> and that's basically what I did. And I did that to all 12 pieces. However, I did not do it to each of them individually. Basically what I did is I took all of them and I sanded them. And then I took them all again and used the brush on them. And then I just decided why not put a P on my favorite one. So I put a P on my favorite one indicating that this is the PSZZ SCN mod. So if ever I start a little thingy where I do this mod on people's Rubik's Cubes, I will probably put a P on a, maybe a more specific piece, maybe. I, for some reason, really like the uh, white and blue when they're together, so I'd probably put it on that piece. I don't know, I just kind of like that color combination. Anyway, that's my mod, and it works out pretty nicely. There you go. That one actually seemed to show it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put all this extra stuff away, and I'm going to do an example solve.